Christian Conservation Group is fighting the Ghana government in court over plans to mine bauxite in the Ottawa Range Forest Reserve. This is a protected forest in the hills north of the capital, which is called Accra, the capital of Ghana. This forest reserve is home to more than 700 species of butterflies, 239 different birds, kinds of birds, and 1,134 kinds of plants. It also is um, the headwaters of, provides the headwaters of rivers that provide water for millions of people. But the government has reportedly granted a license to a Chinese-owned, state-owned company called Sino Hydro Corps to mine bauxite, which is what you make aluminium of, and build a refinery there. And this is to pay back, to help pay back a $2 billion loan for infrastructure projects from China to Ghana. Experts say the mine would be catastrophic for plants and for wildlife, and not to mention the climate and clean water. You'd take away clean water for millions of people. We thought that if we didn't take the step of faith, then we would not have acted well as Christians, who are called stewards of God's creation, said Seth Apaya Kubi, who's the national director of Arosha Ghana, which is this little Christian conservation group fighting the Ghana government in court. He said, we've done all we've done because we're Christians. Arosha Ghana is leading this legal challenge, joined by six other civil, civil society groups, four private citizens. The case was filed three years ago. Gradually, gradually it made its way to the High Court in Accra early this year. The conservation group has never filed a suit like that before. Seth said, even though we've done advocacy and campaigns as part of our work, this is the first time we've taken legal action. It's a big learning curve. I was able to meet Seth a few weeks ago on a visit to Ghana, and I was also able to go and visit the Atewa Forest Reserve and see some of its wonders, even as I could hear chainsaws in the distance. One of the great biologists, living biologists, Edward O. Wilson of Harvard University, says that destroying a place like a tewa is like making a fire out of Renaissance masterpieces to cook your dinner. And so when you can see these things and you know, at the same time you can hear chainsaws in the distance, it's like maybe you go to the National Gallery and you can, you can look at some beautiful paintings, but you can hear a pile of them being burnt in another room. I promised Seth that I would pray for him. And Arosha's Ghana's fight to protect the forest. And I told him I'd also ask you to pray for him and Arosha Ghana. And that we'd also try and maybe raise some funds for their work. And so I want to begin that with a coffee morning at the vicarage on um, at 11 o'clock on Tuesday the 17th of October. So the money we raise will go to support this campaign. Why? Because I believe that what's happening to life on earth in our lifetimes is like what was happening to the Jews in Germany in the 1940s. We can't just ignore what's happening. We must do something. This is a kind of genocide, but, but for other species, for the environment. Ecocide, sometimes it's called. A poet recently wrote, it's 3.23 in the morning, I can't sleep because my great-great-grandchildren ask me in my dreams, what did you do while the earth was unravelling? Supporting Arosha, this small Christian charity that, that seeks to protect the environment as we should be doing as stewards of God's creation. That's what it says in the Bible, that's who we are. That's who the Bible says we are. Supporting Arosha is something we can do and we should be doing as a parish. And so I ask for your help. Thank you.